from hero to zero in 60 seconds. The national mania over which team basketball star LeBron James would choose and reaction to his choice shows us how singular sports is to American culture and how shallow we can be. LeBron James was and is a player of such unique talent that there was scarcely a team in a major U.S. city that wouldn't have wept with gratitude at his joining. With a height of 6'9 and a wingspan of 7 feet, any team he joins immediately acquires a 75% chance of making the finals and perhaps the championship. But when James chose Miami for a shot at a ring, some teams and some cities went cuckoo. Fans in Cleveland burned James' Cavalier jersey, and the team owner called his former star cowardly and disloyal to the city. The red-eyed turnaround had all of the venom of a spurned lover. It revealed better than an x-ray how shallow is our adoration of our sports heroes and how little we really see and respect them as people, especially if they're black. There's also an element of envy at play at a wealthy athlete who pursues his interests rather than ours, the fans. Yet wasn't James a free agent? Hadn't he the right to choose? Wasn't he free to do so? Well, he was free as long as he did what they wanted him to do, promote Cleveland. Now he's a member of Miami's Heat, a franchise that he doesn't have to carry, but which with several stars can contribute to the chase. The choice of city, of team, and of teammates was his to make. It's not about loyalty, especially to a billionaire who spits on him moments after he leaves. It's about winning. His chances just went up significantly. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.